Well, we're not actually shelling or doing anything today. We are home today, and guess what we are eating, my friends? You see this red, beautiful fish? And they call it vermilion snapper. Vermilion snapper, some people, they call them clubhead snapper. They call them Brian's redfish, or they call them uh, bee liner, or they also call them night snapper. These fish are beautiful, one of the most beautiful and delicious fish in the ocean and these fish actually they are found uh, all the way from North Carolina all the way to Brazil and uh, Caribbean and Bahamas and Mexico but they are usually on the 66 foot to 980 foot of water um, and they are actually found at the edge of the continental and when the drops happens in a Gulf Stream, what we call it here. From the South Carolina, we have to go to Gulf Stream. Now, we can find smaller ones a little bit in shallow water, but the bigger ones, farther you go, you find the bigger one where the drop is. And as you guys see that I spiced it, you can spice it with anything, salt and pepper, just plain salt and pepper. I put some um, Caribbean jerks on it. I put other spices. You can put whatever you like on it. And, you know, all these recipes that you see online and they tell you do it this way. No, you do it the way that you like your seafood or fish. This fish actually has been scaled and cleaned and gutted. So it's just the skin. And I slice it like you guys see. And I have all kinds of stuff to add next to it. This is my ingredients. Now, the lemon or lime or whatever you use, I'm not cooking those. Everything else I'm cooking. I do also have tomatoes that I put them on a, on a sheet and I stuck them in the oven. I didn't show them in the video here because uh, just to give you an idea, there are tomatoes here. Tomatoes don't go in a frying pan. So everything else is in there and everything is cooking slowly. The fish is cooking really nicely. I covered the tail and the head because I don't want it to turn black. I want it to have a little bit of shape of the fish on the plate. Now cooking the whole fish is actually a lot of cultures, a lot of countries, people cook the fish with the head, with the tail, a lot of them do that. I mean, if a lot of French uh, fancy restaurants, they cook them, and uh, a lot of places they cook them with their heads on. I like to cook them like that. It really looks cool. You can see the fish, you know, it's really fresh. I think that's the whole thing is fresh, because those people who live in islands and, uh, and all those places close to the ocean, they don't have time to flay it and all that. They throw the whole fish and eat every meat on the fish. They don't just, you know, flay and a few pieces they throw them away. They eat the, the meat from the head. So I cook the whole fish. And you see I'm adding actually some of the stuff here that you see. I had them actually in my fridge. So I'm just adding to that. Now this one is a fish right now. It's cooked. Now it's probably time to take the foil off. I didn't have to take the tail if I wanted to keep the tail. I think I should have kept it on this because and now I turn it to broil. I put it on broil on high just to give it a little bit of char on the top and this is my rice that I pre-cooked my rice so the rice goes in here and I will slide the whole fish right carefully because the whole thing is about the whole fish sitting on that. You see how nice I look? The tail is a little burned but it looks nice now you take everything else that you cooked add them to it and that's your presentation this this is a healthy meal it has all kind of stuff on it you can make sauce if you want to add sauce to it um, it really is very delicious meal you can cook it however you want you can actually add spices to your vegetables so this one is really cool quick meal thank you guys for watching Thank you guys for your subscriptions. Enjoy it, guys. And if you cook something like this, please, I would like to hear about it in, in, like, in the comments. Thank you, guys. I'll see you guys next video.